I'll tell you what, I'm just going to say our winner now because it's going to be so obvious. Our winner in first place. I didn't see it coming, but I'm very happy and thankful for... It's a gold coast, it's a gold coast, it's a gold coast, it's a gold coast, it's a gold coast. In the world before monkeys, primal chaos reigned. Viewers, this podcast is brought to you by real wood smoked saveloys. Saveloys that you can taste. Saveloys you can feel. You know, guys, when I'm at home resting on my chaise lounge, I sometimes feel the need for a sav. For a saveloy. And I can only get that from real wood smoked saveloys. It's also brought to you by Koala Karma, the chill out drink. Sit back, relax. And welcome to the studio. We've got an all-star lineup. It's a great night tonight. Um, firstly, the man on my right, all the way back from the Sweden Rock Festival, Mr. Greasy Belcher. Let's hear it from him. Come on. Hello. And beside him, my absolute champion, he's building the, uh, the greatest uh, bloody brewery up in the mountains of Crumman Valley, Pete Weldon from Crumman Valley Brewing. Come on. Let's go. And our amazing audience tonight, we've got Cindy Jensen all the way from Buskers by the Creek. Can you believe that? With some massive news yeah. tonight. And Craig from Revive Car Detailing. We've got Aaron Brunner from Aaron Brunner Media, Media in the, on the cameras and mic again, you bloody champion. How are you? What's happening? Pure joy. Get real close to that if you can for me. Yo, don't hey, get too close. We, um, we, uh, tonight's a big night, right? First of all, there's yeah. no Ricker and no Matt G here tonight. Um, Excused. Doing something else. But the, um, uh, what we're doing tonight, guys, for the last few weeks, we've had um, Heat 1, 2, and 3 of our GC versus DK Battle of the Bands. And tonight is our three finalists. Let me explain to you how it's all happened before we chit-chat, before we get to that. We have asked... Um, it's the first one we've ever done. We've got, we got something like 12 bands coming. Look at this. If you look at this uh, camera, it's like Royal HD, right? <laughs> Oh. Right? <laughs> Shouldn't a light come on? Let's switch one more on. Hey, that's that a good one. idea. On. Top idea. Hey, uh, we asked 12, uh, we got 12 bands to bring their greatest song in. We played the last minute. We did something different. We played the last minute of every, so- of every song. And we uh, asked ourselves honestly which ones we liked. And we got to our final three, which we're, we're going to play in the entirety tonight. And I want to say tonight that the winner of this um, competition gets $500 cold hard cash. Uh, they get a photo shoot from Matt G Photography, the legendary low light band uh, photographer and um, vocal coaching with uh, Cindy Lee. <laughs> vocal coaching from Matt, 10 pin bowl and from uh, Rollerball slash Outshine band. Axe throwing. And you would know, Cindy. Hey, hey. Do you, know, you want a mic, don't you, Cindy? <laughs> hey, uh, yes, Lumberpunk's axe throwing it. The whole band gets to go to Lumberpunk axe throwing at Miami. And uh, hey, here he is right now a, um, a video clip yeah. uh, produced and edited by our champion here, Greasy Belgium. Come on, that's the greatest prize we've ever seen. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. That's epic. What a bit of fun. And I'll tell you what, what, serious. And I've had a blast doing it. I'm going to turn you up a bit there, Pete. Yeah, I've had a blast. Doing it these last couple of weeks because um, being in bands, we're all in bands. You know, we've all been musicians. Yes. Like, I have no problem taking the piss. I yeah. don't because yeah. I know. And my biggest thing is like I um, heard the first episode. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Most hated man on the Gold Coast. Oh yeah. I don't mind because I can see the every single dude in the band going, oh, damn it, that asshole. But it to me, it's like um, uh, it happened to me once when I was in a. I went to an acting school, right? And one of the first, in the first weekends, they all had us there. It was a real weird sort of joint down in Surrey Hill, Sydney. Um, they made us stand up for half an hour in front of the class and they had these other people there and they did something. I've still got the notes at home. Everyone in the room had to write down what they thought about you on these big pieces of paper and they stuck it in the thing and you didn't know who they were, right? There's like 30 different people 
wrote their, what they thought about you, what you looked like, the, your mannerisms, whether they liked you. It was completely anonymous and uh, honest. Wow. Wow, and, and that'd that's, be interesting. Yeah, and that's what I like about... Uh, man, I'm going to keep turning you up. There you go. Yeah. Hey! I'm in. <laughs> um, and that's what I like in this too. We don't even know what they look like. We know what they sound like. We, we get the ch- opportunity to look them up on Google. So you find out whether they're actually... Well, can you be quiet, please, Google Home? Come on, I mean, seriously. We're trying to have a conversation here. Yeah, stop interrupting shit. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. yeah. Only if you say shit dicks. She's always listening. <laughs> Um, Stop saying that shit, dicks. <laughs> uh, I've been hearing how um, how all these uh, comedians around the world are going, having a good laugh about how many Aussies say shit cunt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But big, big, uh, like Tom Segura, and um, they've gotten onto her recently, and they just can't believe how there's a whole gang of Aussies <laughs> getting around. Like, star, whoa, dude. that's the roughest thing to ever say. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, we get the opportunity to actually Google what the band looks like for the first time. We heard Brilliant. the music and go, oh, and uh, Greasy, you might have heard the one from when you were over in Europe last, the other week. I heard the first edition, and I thought the first song you played I thought was really good, and then it got wiped out. I was like, oh. Yeah, well. There's some, some good, good, good music on there, so if you got knocked out, don't be disheartened. <laughs> Mate, and for real, you were, bring up a really good point, because... What, what, what we're hearing is what we're hearing for the first time here. It wasn't until I got back on the lounge and started editing the songs. Some songs stay in your head. Like the, some of these songs from uh, particularly Mojo Native, um, uh, like there's a couple of these bands, like their songs stayed in my head. To- yeah. Tokyo Boop. And, and I'm like, shit, they kind of should have won. Yeah, yeah. But on the night, my vote only said this one and they, they didn't win. But what we're going to do at the end of this is make a record. Oh, like, nice. This, this Battle of the Mans will Spot, have a record. Spotify playlist. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's actually Greasy's idea, so I think it's a, a cool thing. Then um, Anyway. The credit yeah. <laughs> so let's, yeah, let's not sweet. do that straight away. Let's, um, where have you been? What have you been up to? Me? Everyone. No, well, you yeah. go first, Greasy. I'm pretty boring, mate. I've just got back from Sweden, as you know. I was at the Rock Festival over there for four days. It's pretty hectic. I'm uh, trying to stay off the beers now. <laughs> you know, staying out till... Four, five, six, seven a.m. every night for about two weeks, and uh, yeah, pretty hectic. You know, good fun though. Good Have fun. you been to Sweden before? Never been to Sweden, but um, I'm going gonna go again next year. Festival is magic. If you haven't been to Sweden, rocks you're missing out. Whereabouts in Sweden did you go, Greasy? Uh, we landed in uh, Stockholm. Yeah, and uh, then we went down to a place called Ronby on the plane, and uh, off to the festival, which is about twenty k's from there. Okay, and um, saw Ozzy Osbourne. Nice. That's a good score. Who's well past it. He needs to retire big time. Does he? Yeah, he was right. standing there like Mr. Burns, just shaking wild. Zach Wilde is soloing with his teeth and there's 46, you know, cinema screens behind him on fire. And yeah. it's like in the middle of that, you got little Ozzy Osbourne going like that. Yeah. And I thought, well, at least he's singing. And then he kind of went, generals gathered in their mat. And then he holds the mic out because of the oh, high note every time. Just holds the mic out. Oh. And I'm like, oh, man, Ozzy, Ozzy, please, please. Yeah. I hate it when bands do that too. I want to hear Metallica sing Not it. in age years, but in actual drug-taking years. Oh, I reckon no, he's probably 350. About, yeah, oh, he's done well. He's probably had like five whole-body blood transfusions. <laughs> what was that TV show? What was that show? Meet the, the Osbournes, Osbournes or some shit. That would have been 15 years ago now. And he was wrecked He was then. fucking trash. How old was he then? 55, man? I, don't know. I reckon he was 60 then. He's well under... He's about 260 oh, drug man. years at that point. Yeah, he's about 72 now. And then we saw... I'll tell you what. Saw Iron Maiden, who... I was pretty wrecked by the time they came on. So, but um, and I mean, like after three days of being at it, but uh, Bruce Bruce Dickinson's just still doing the splits and the jumps, ten feet in the wow. air. You know, he still looks incredible. Flying um, the plane and all that. Yeah, the, the skulls and the planes, everything just coming out. There's some production. I mean, there's five, four stages, nonstop music. Uh, we had VIP tickets, so we were in this really nice section for the whole team. So anytime it got too hot, we just went off into the shade and. Sat on, sat on couches, yeah. It was I just saw that. At, you went over with your band. Yeah, we, we spent 700 bucks each on a, on a VIP ticket, and it just nice. kicked That's ass. That's commitment to rock, That's man. Cindy oh, Jensen oh. rocking that right yeah. there, isn't that, Cindy? <laughs> it's the best thing you could ever do. It's a lot of fun. But um, Darkness were funny as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Darkness, the guy was doing yeah. that. <laughs> They're still <laughs> going. No, I didn't, I didn't. I never thought I'd say that, but they were brilliant. Yeah, right, sweet. I'm not a fan, but I am now because I saw them on stage and the guy was doing a handstand, headstand on the drum kit, clapping his legs to the beat of a song. Wow. <laughs> it's a big, big, long, skinny legs. Just wow. clapping the singer. His elbow boots. Yeah, handstand, headstand like that on the drum. Just wow. clap, clap, clap. 
And then um, he's got those cool flame tats yeah, fl- from he's got, like his. Uh, he's got all these embroidered leather pants, and then and then he got <laughs> he got his guitar, and he jumped on some big unit's shoulders, and the guy carried him into the into the mosh pit where I was, and he was like, I had to jump out of his way, you know what I mean, wow. like twice, and he's just doing a f- flaming guitar solo. Like just wow. so that was cool, that. That'd be the epitome of Europe. I've never been to Europe. To be fair, me. when I when I went to Sweden, like I've been twice, and and they really uh, embrace American culture, so they're probably well into the rock. Like there's yeah. there's like cool old American cars getting around. I had a mate who was a dead ringer for Robert Plant, like getting around massive like Viking blonde curly hair, and and yeah, it was good times, man. I and think, then when you mix yeah. that with like. Well, booze is way too expensive, but like, you know, full on all night things because it's night all night. I mean, it's day all night. And yeah, in the winter, it's night all night. But yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's pretty full on. Those guys, they, they know how to party pretty hard. And It's pretty weird yeah. being at someone's house and it's like, it's bright and it's one in the morning. And yeah. they're going, I'm, I'm going to bed. And you're like, going, what? Yeah, I really? can't sleep in this, We're dude. sitting in the middle of the day here. Yeah. And uh, then you go to bed and you look out the window at four in the morning, it's still bright. Yeah. It's weird. But, um, wow. Yeah. But at the festival, they, it's like they never let go of 1986. Yep. Every, every single person there is just yeah. dressed like it's 1986, yeah. Young people too? Yeah, young and old. There's people that there are 60, there's people that are 15, wow. you know. <laughs> Isn't it funny <laughs> that we're over here on this little island looking out to the, all the other cultures, but they'd be in it. They would never look down to Australia for style or, apart from maybe a, if... Well, we're you know, doing it with words like shit cunt and that, you know. Like oh, yeah, are I never thought of that. that. They're into the Aussie music over there, yeah. big time. Yeah? Oh, yeah, big time. But we, what is Aussie music now? Well, we met people with patches with Aussie bands that you haven't heard of in 20 years and the whole jacket's covered in these patches, you know? People with little Australian flags sold into their... Okay. They're right into it, you know? Rose Tattoo were playing and they smashed it and, wow. and, and there was 20,000 people watching them. Yeah. Oh, it's just, yeah, the whole place. Did they smash it? They smashed Cause it. Because they'd have not, to be the same age as Aussie. Not, I'd say Angry's about 62 or something maybe, but they, not one song wasn't brilliant. Like every, every song was great. Unreal. Double negatives there. But every song was great and the whole crowd were just... Fist pumping the whole way through. Yeah. What about um, boobs? Did you see any boobs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest. When you when you first walked in, I was looking for your phone, your um, your number. I said, "Where's Greasy?" He's just a couple minutes late. Been working today, and I saw this uh, image of of from a festival. We're talking about the uh, if oh, you go put, on, I put some on Instagram. Yeah, I put some on Instagram. But there's yeah, there was there was people wearing next to nothing over there. Right, it was great. It was <laughs> it, it made us uh, in the room look up something on Reddit called Festival Sluts, yeah, yeah, where it's, you know, you don't see anything, but it's just like the culture of, um, of ladies, going, girls going out to festivals wearing just fucking nothing. It's a, yeah. anyway, anyway, creep, spot the creep. <laughs> 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 no, they, they had stuff on, but it wasn't that much on some of them, you know, but it was, uh, it was just, who cares, you know what I mean? It was yeah. just, you know. It was you pretty warm, I take it then. It was- Oh yeah, it was yeah. Um, singer for Turban Agro was looking out, going, "This is like watching a human barbecue." Yeah, right. And he was right because it was like thirty-five degrees and everyone was cooking, yeah. Yeah. watching just in the sun all day. Yeah. So can you can you get a gig there? Can your band get a gig there? Maybe one day. Yeah. You know? What's the name of your band? Stone Rising. So maybe one day. You know, I'd love to push for it. You know, it's not that hard. I don't think. Right. Because um, they love Aussie music over there. You know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if we're in in say Sydney. Oh, there's a band from the UK. You didn't know what the hell they were. Yeah. Everyone wanted to see it. Well, everyone, because we were in the VIP area, we saw the same people all the time. And then we were walking through the festival and people are pointing at us going, there's the Aussies. Aye. Yeah, you know, it's just, sweet. It, loads of people knew us, you know, so it was great fun. And then, then after the festival, we went to Auschwitz. Did you? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you do. Just to really calm wow. that vibe down. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was just to get somewhere where they didn't sell alcohol. What? Oh, man. (laughs) Really? I was looking forward to Auschwitz the whole time going, man, there can't be any pubs near that place. Well, can you tell us that that story at the end, please? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I don't want to be sad right now. No, it's nothing nothing sad. It was a long, long long, long time ago. (laughs) It's a a happy, happy, joy, joy. joy. It's actually a great place. (laughs) I don't know what all the bad comments are about. The music festival, not the plate, not the camp. (laughs) Are you telling me there's a music festival called Auschwitz? Oh, (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm so lost. I'm out of here. Auschwitz. No. Auschwitz. Uh, uh, <laughs> <our sweats. laughs> Gets better. Oh, it's getting fucking crazy. Yeah. 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 Pete. Yes. I've How's the brewery h- going, mate? I've been hiding in my hole in Crumman Valley. Yes. Yeah. Drinking beers, making lots of beers. Not beers for sale, but beers for pilot batches. Um, yep, we've poured slabs. We've gotten a whole heap of equipment from China. 
Um, yeah, things are exciting. Hopefully we'll have beer for sale in the middle of September, which just happens to be my 40th as well. Nice. So this is good time, perfect timing. Uh, but yeah, look, very excited to get stuff out there, but not a lot of interesting stuff to say. It's just been um, all the boring things. How many, how many different beers are you going to brew? As many as I possibly can. Yeah. Um, but the goal is... is uh, We've got to be a bit sensible, like paying for branding every time you do that's like a bit hairy. Yeah. So uh, I think I think we're just going to try and do as many as we can, mate. We, we're going to have barrel beers going on, so and we're going to have clean beers until those barrel beers are ready because they all take some time between six months a year, maybe two. Okay. Like, yeah. So there'll be lots of blending. Lots. It'll be a very different setup from your um, Bolters, Stone and Woods, and and um, Black Ops and all that sort of stuff, making clean beers only. Uh, but yeah. Look, we're, we're up for the challenge. There's a gap for that in, in the market. And um, nice. we're bringing our beer with pure Crumb Valley spring water. We're going to be sourcing a lot of like ingredients to flavour the beer with from locally and from the farm. So it's going to be good fun. Yeah. His uh, shed is on top of a spring. Like actually at the back shed, there's a rock. You lift the rock up and it's just trickling out of the mountain. Yeah. A constant yep. spring. So, like the yeah. r- legit thing. So hey, the, place, you... the place used to be Green Mountain Spring Water back in the day, which was like a spring water facility. There's like three 40,000 litre, uh, well, actually 10,000 gallon, so that's four and a half thousand or 45,000 litre um, concrete tanks there in, in situ. Um, and then, yeah, so we've got plenty there. And then there, I threw in another thousand gallon tank as well, just to give us some head pressure when the power goes out. Because the, the water's all stored below our house. So when the power goes out, we don't have water. Oh. So um, I, I did something to sort of sort that out early in the days. But yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. We might even do some. Some spring water goodness. How, how long have you been brewing beers for? Uh, all grain, since uh, which means like actually starting from the pure ingredients: water, yeast, malt, hops. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, basically um, five years. So since I moved there, yeah. I, I um with the sale of the other place, I had a little bit of extra cash in my pocket. I went, ah, oh, yeah, I'll get a coffee machine for the misses, and I'll set up a little like micro or nano brewery for me. And then, um, but overall, like since I was eighteen, so I'm turning forty this year. So 21, 22 years. I mean, you know, uni, you want to drink a lot of beer and you can't afford it. So it's like Cooper's um, tins and make beer. Good and man. it was rotten beer back in those days. But <laughs> I, I've gra- I'd like to think I've gradually improved it over time. I've got a mate down in Sydney who wins a whole lot of awards for his um, little homebrew setup as well. Yeah, who's that? You, like Gra- His name's Graham McDonald. Okay, I don't know the gent, but I, yeah. I bet he's a legend of, of sorts. Yeah, he's a big it, dude. <laughs> has he, um, is he like, uh, is that, what, what are these awards like a... Oh, just just national homebrew Mike comp Mo, or something. Yeah, national homebrew comps. Yeah, you know, legend. He, he's won he's he run some decent awards there as well. Not just local ones, but bigger ones as well. Yeah, cool. You that's know. really. Is good. there a difference between homebrew and brewing? Like when I think of homebrew, I think of the stuff we used to do in Ashfield, like in in the plastic containers you get at Woolies. Yeah, you know, yeah. like the Cooper's kit. Yeah, that's right. So that's homebrew. Is that you wouldn't like craft? That's a different deal, is it not? Well, the, the, well, the, the branding's moved on. No, yeah. one, no one actually says homebrew too much, do they? I think the, the great thing about it these days is a lot of these guys that have been homebrewing for a while do end up taking the step to like to this, and that's exactly what Luke and I have done. I mean, neither of us are professional brewers. We've just made a lot of beer, and then we've just gone, well, we want to see if some of our beer will go all right in the public sphere, and we've just gone and rented, basically paid a package fee or a co-pack fee, as they call it, to make beer. So um, the boys from Lost Palms have had us before. We've brewed out of Ipswich. Um, at Four Hearts Brewery or, or Pump Yard, we've, we've brewed at Black Ops here locally on the coast. Um, yeah, so like there's, there's plenty of places, and also Ballistic in Brisbane, um, in Salisbury, that, that they made probably the most beer for us um, with sort of two and a half thousand litre batches at a time. So that's like 45 kegs of beer. There's, um, there's, a, new, there's a new craft beer time. pub opening in uh, Chugan. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's called Crafted, is it? Is Crafties, yeah. Crafties, yeah. I met the owner, Chris. He's a good lug. Is he? Right, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's his um, background? Crazy. Um, his background is he did a marketing degree in England in the UK in Manchester. Okay, moved, moved out here and uh, got into another blow in coming in thinking they know everything he, about he, Jugan. Let me tell you something. <laughs> There's a brewery up in the hill. It's called Crum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, um, he owns a um, he, he owns a business called Marketing Together, which is just uh, around the corner from here. The, yeah. where, where the school where I used to work is there. Nice. Used okay. There, so, but he knows all about marketing and uh, okay. this is a hobby for him, and he's going to have about twenty. 23 beers in there. 23 taps? Yeah. Shit. Okay, my, my concern would be how... how what how happens to his car after, after this beers. when Pete finds his car? <laughs> no, no, no. I think, it'd be, I think it's a great idea, and it's really, I'm really stoked to see that people are pushing that sort of thing. 
But uh, my greatest concern is that um, a bar with that many taps in Chugan probably won't move through the beers too quickly and therefore you don't end up with a lot of fresh beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You end up with beer sitting around for a long time and that's probably not ideal for the consumer. Um, I, I was in, I was in a venue, really. I was in a, uh, a bar in Krakow in mm. Poland and uh, they had, it was a craft beer place with 23 different kinds of beers. Yeah. And that was epic. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we were just working our way through the list. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and yeah. they cost like three bucks a pint, and they serve well, it in a big, beautiful. Frost, it won't be that much. Glass. Yeah, it's going to be like twenty <laughs> bucks a pint, I reckon. <laughs> just that, and you can thank the um, the Australian tax office for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next exactly. Yeah. But anyway, look, it's all it's all cool, man. But yeah, that's beer. And if you keep t- letting me talk about beer, we won't get on any I love other it, topic man. for the rest of the night. Because yeah, it's well, I've been surrounded <laughs> in in beer lately. You know, thanks to you, Pete. Yeah. Like you know, here I am drinking a Lost Palms. There's some guys from um, Miami. Yep. Gents, absolute lords, yeah, those guys. Yeah, but they're, I, um, you know, used to work for uh, Ballistic. You know, I, I know you, you've been yep. heavily involved in beer, right? Yep. So I see what you've started in your um, uh, property. You're, you've got the fermenters and all that sort of gear. There's three guys at Lost Palms, and I, they're the, the, that next step. Yeah, I guess only yeah, in really only are. in um, in uh, age or, or whatever. Like, yeah, uh, they're actually making beer, so they've been definitely... into it probably a couple more years before. Yeah, actually, as a business, right? Yep. This is what I love about it, mate, because everyone um, like has been slagging uh, craft beer, bloody wankers, you know, like you know, but not not so much anymore. Mm. But you know that it's coming around. It's coming, but that's 100%. how Australia accepts things. First, we really have to mock it. And yeah. then if it makes it past the mocking stage and people actually accept it, well, then it might be all right. And then the general populace will have a sniff yeah. at it. Yeah. Well, mate, what I've seen lately, when I saw the guys and the way you guys actually, like, put the lids on these cans, yeah. like, they do it with a drill press, you know, like a, yeah, a yeah. single drill press to, and it wrap the label around it. To me, that's hard work. And yeah. I appreciate that gear yeah, yeah. way more. Like um, We're going to cork and cage bottles, which is an absolute ass fight. Like, right. Yeah, it's just not cool. Well, I happily pay for that. Yeah. Like it, but I'm look, gonna have sore hands, I guarantee. Meanwhile, there's huge breweries all about where they've gone way beyond that sort of stuff. Yeah. But you're still kind of spending, paying a lot of money for beer. Robots, er, oh. robots. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. So the more I a lot know about the actual dudes that are working just in your own neighbourhood making their own beer, I don't mind spending a couple more bucks on a well, on something that has way more taste crazy, as well. Man. You know, well, we are a small business at the end of the day. You know. Yeah, um, and and the sphere for that is getting a lot more crowded now, um, which is a good thing, um, but it makes it difficult. There's only so many shelves and so many taps. Mm. That being said, um, we're all in it against the big guys, and um, right. we're, we're all out there to make sure that everyone gets the beers that that we like, including this Slipstream Brewing Anniversary Ale. It's a ten percent Russian Imperial Stout. Yeah, from Russia. Not from Russia. It's just a style. This is that Slipstream is in. I uh, should know Salisbury. Um, you're wrong, Pilly. Sorry. Is that right? So it's another. Bri- Look. Yeah. I dare say that they've got the same label. Uh, I think so. Set up. So they've yeah, got the yeah. sticker there. They've hand wrapped these cans. So th- this is the, the reason why is that um, these these cans can like there's a generic can you buy. Like if you want to get a can with that all printed on it, I think the minimum order. I don't exactly know, but I, I think the last time I looked, it was around about fifty thousand. Which is cans. bullshit, by the way. Yeah, so if you wanted to make a like a special release beer like this Anniversary Ale, you're just not going to make that much no. of it because you're not going to sell that much of it. And Well, you might. Like Calibre probably will sell it. These are the guys that do it. They're, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm getting off track. But the thing is, is like, um, it, <laughs> man. Well, you're not we, getting off track. We, it, it even comes down to Greasy. He's making a CD. So I say every time my old bands made a CD, you had to have two thousand. Like, ah, oh, we can't afford yeah, that. Yeah, and then you have right. to have you can only print five thousand um, inserts. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. man, you know, and you could only. That's the big guys. It's decay, everyone, right? every single small business is in the same situation. Yeah, you're forced into these scams of like ordering fifty thousand beer labels. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Come on! I, f- I feel like an amateur here just sitting here drinking a Jameson and Coke. Oh, That's alright, man. Right, man. <laughs> Get out! Corporate drinks! Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> Should we do our first song? I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. What do you Time. reckon? Let's rock Let's into it. it. What do you reckon, everyone? I'm ready. Yeah? You can I got the jitters. Oh, Aaron's knocking stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's a champion, by the way. On, on the weekend, um, I announced the, at the Mudrabar show uh, the horse versus motocross. Um, Race, that right? Been good. Which was just before um, Adam Brand played, right? And the cool thing about 
Adam Brand, just a coincidence, my mate Shannon Mudgy Wheel asked me to call the race for his son, Kosh, and he learned how to ride in my front yard. He's the Aussie champ, the dirt bike champion. Um, so I'm like, yeah, great. My mate from um, has asked me to do this thing. And Aaron is um, uh, works for Adam Brand. So, so we were there in the same sort of field working uh, sort of beside each other, and it was a real cool thing. So that's unreal. And here we go as... We're gonna play our first song. Are you? Do so we get to know what it is, or we just find that out later? Let's let's yeah, because you guys actually listen, don't do know. We? Yeah, let's hear it. And um, are we gonna hear the whole thing? Let's hear the whole thing, let's which rock. we have never heard. Okay. And I feel like what what are you? I'm gonna put it out there because I mean it's our first comp. Let's play <gasps> the first song, second song, and third song in its entirety. Yeah, it might be uh, you know, there's like a, a good 15 minutes, and we'll kind of be sitting out, but. Let's do it, eh? And then we can talk about it in reverse bits or whatever we want to do. Yeah. Let's hear it. First song. Our first heat winner. We call her Dowsy because she spells it funny. D-O-U-Z-E-Y. But it's actually spelled, pronounced Doozy. Doozy. Um, she's from uh, Brisbane. Uh, uh, she sent us a great message this week that she's got some gigs on in Brisbane soon and on the Gold Coast. And her song, which we liked. Isn't ready, so wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> Line her up. Rack them up. All right. Uh, here we go. Doozy with the song Ophelia. Sheep of the phantom into 
Doozy with a failure. Nice. Yeah. That was joy. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Very good. I, and by the way, I haven't heard it since I edited the first heat. Right. But what I like about that is it's kind of dark and it's, um, mm. you know, when you write a song, you can either write a, a real, uh, I don't know, she sort of went angry and, and uh, into weird tones and, and uh, you know, minors and, uh, you yeah, know. I'm big for the, the, and the poker harmonic, feel. The harmonic minors, like Joy, I love, I love that. It throws that kind of Moroccan yeah. roll, Spanishy kind of vibe into it. Came mm. out by nature. Yeah. You know, and because we've, we've heard others, other bands, there's other ones that go for at least straight ahead sort of rock and roll. And mm. she kind of slaughtered them with a bit of reality, un- yeah, like some um, some cheeky. A was, it was being being technical, <laughs> but from yeah. the heart, technical. She's, yeah. you know, and we don't even know who she is. I, the, to be honest, I didn't listen to a single lyric. I just I don't catch lyrics. I just listened to the. I, I just liked the the production side of like what was going on with the lyrics mm. and things. But I'm just listening to the music the whole time. That's how I've always listened to music. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Period. She was saying craft beer sucks. Yeah. Craft beers for poofters. Yeah, and, stick, and you're stick a wanker. Craft beer up your ass. <laughs> you fucking poofter. <laughs> up your ass. You fucking poofter. Anyone with a man bun can. <laughs> <laughs> you shit can't fuck off. Oh man! So this is what I meant that's earlier on. That's why I don't write lyrics. Hey? This is it was getting mean. too serious all of a sudden. That's why I don't write lyrics, man. <laughs> I listened to the first episode of this, and I went, "You're going to be the most hated man on the Gold Coast." Oh, what's new, but it's we've already ev- lost Cindy. We don't know where Cindy's it's going. It's all fair and even, so uh, everybody got. Um, yeah, ma- I wish crazy, I could get crazy weird talk either side of their song evenly. I can I can say with confidence that there wasn't anything I didn't like about that song. Yeah, that no, was great. Same. I, yeah. I could. Easily imagine that on the radio. I could easily imagine people at the festival singing yeah. it. Yeah. And I'd like to see, like, that was some zippy production, I reckon, like, really done up yeah. nice and neat. It's a good tune. Look, if, can you imagine being a, a, a kid right now? Like, we looked up a picture right now. So, you, I don't know, 25, maybe, not even 23. Imagine all the music. Because when we, I first picked up a guitar, it was just A chord, D chord, E chord, get some, you know, Malcolm Young happening and you've got yourself a song. Yeah. Matt Nettle came in and that, oh, that's a bit technical. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, so they've had, uh, if you were to be 20, mid-20s right now, think of all the music that's come out and how to create a song. What is a song? Yeah. When you've got all that sort of, everything to pull from. Yeah. And to be so little to do that could be original anymore. Yeah. Every riff has yeah. basically been done. Yeah. So, so to be actually be honest and yeah. go, ba, 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 yeah. you know. That's right. I liked it right at the end. The last chorus just went. Ding, 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 dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Anyway, what do you reckon, Craig? Oh, the originality of it. Yeah. It's not trying to be anyone. Yeah. It's just trying to be yourself. And that's that's right, yeah. I thought of it. Oh, I thought of a. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I thought of a possible good Attack idea. The Should, at the end of this, we give a bonus. If we can find another one of these artist songs online, you know, like uh, if all if the chips come to... Because I haven't... I mean it. We're doing this on the spot. I haven't done any study. Yeah. It's what we... And now I think that's an important point too. Whatever we find about them online. Because if they've done their work, they've actually put... You'd, you'd know this greasy. Yeah, how yeah, much yeah. work you put in as a band member... To create a profile online in this day and age, you can't just go, I'm cool, you know, we've got a songs and that's it. You can't because... Yeah, no, you need to... Um, You've got to at least have a MySpace profile. I mean, that's what I had to do in my time. <laughs> it's still there? It's still I, there I too. Know. Let's check out the chemist music. Let's check it out. Let's see how the chemist... Right the chemist <laughs> Great name, by the way. Plural. No, that was it. I don't think... Is there even MySpace anymore? I don't know. I'm going to find it right now. I think now. it got bored again. It keeps getting sold yeah, and bought. Uh, Gosh, who knows? And revamped. Do you remember when MySpace, all of a sudden everyone had these profile pictures that would mess the pages up? But as long as everyone was friends with Tom, it was all good. It was MySpace. (laughs) I think Tom's the only one on there now. Yeah. All right. The chemist MySpace. Here we go. Oh, 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 here we go. You've got to make sure it's actually us, though, because there's a few that jumped on. There's a few chemists. It's got to be the chemist music. Chemist Triple J on Earth. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, do that, because that's definitely us. And then we had about three pages there. (laughs) Excellent. Yeah, no, that, no, Cut Chemist. There was another... No, not Cut Chemist. Not Cut Chemist. Yeah, be and like, your Triple J and Earth one. There'll be the chemists and... Oh, All right. yeah, 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 it's joy. Anyway. Well, should we... Let's go to the next song. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, the next... What do you mean, please? You bought already? No. Okay, I'm just checking. I just haven't enough chili This yet. is the, the chair of paranoia at the moment. Punk rock. Here we go. Oh, there we are. Look at the chemists. All the way from Melbourne. That's us. Strapping young lads. 
Pete Weldon up the back there. You. Anyway. What were you playing? Me, personally? Mm. Uh, guitar. Oh. Lead guitar, guitar. All right. Okay. Now, we should mention that uh, Greasy, Greasy Belcher, you actually did enter a song in this, but... Um, but yeah, you would have won, I reckon. Yeah, we'll play this. I reckon we play that your song at the end of this episode. Yeah, oh, cheers, cool. Um, and the reason, I, good, a reason to play that would be, um, I'm, I spent a lot of time on that video, and it cost me. It only cost me about five hundred bucks to make, and um, I basically spent a hundred dollars paying a mate of mine with a blue screen to set it up in my garage, and then I just a couple of. Ordinary video cameras, not nothing expensive, you know, cameras you get for 400 bucks. A couple of them at different angles, shot us all moving around. And then um, I went onto a uh, website called Video Hive where you can buy stock footage. You pay like $10, $20, $30 a clip. I just searched for a bunch of stuff that I thought might be relevant to the clip. I Now I know how to use Adobe After Effects, it's a video editing software, it's really complex, but you can do complex things on it really simply. Put that together, put the footage, footage of us three in front of the camera in black and white in front of the blue screen delete the blue screen and then the stock footage behind it and just synced everything up with the beats and the music and and it it looks cool so i really want to see this oh it's kicking ass on youtube it's kicking ass too yeah so it's uh, that's called never gonna die by greasy belcher and uh if you want to listen to that at the end and look it up on youtube yourself i suppose the only person's going to look it up is the one who wins but that's what i can do with video um, if you yeah. want to put the time in, you know. So I want to help somebody. I'm not going to be in a studio with a camera helping somebody shoot the video. But if you've got footage, or you want to get in front of a flat blue screen, we can put something cool together. Nice. Hey, Aaron, what do you think of Doozy's song? It's all right. <laughs> the man <laughs> of many <laughs> words. <laughs> Boom! That was like total jinx day. Okay, here's a question for you, As. Would you think Doozy? No, how are you going to answer this properly? Could she support Adam Brand? Oh, sorry to put you on the spot. That's the wrong <laughs> thing to say. No, uh, she probably could. Yeah. yeah. Don't depends elaborate. What, it's, it's, what, it's, what, it's the worst <laughs> question I've got to ask you. Sorry, man. That's right. Yeah? It just depends what event. All right. You know? On the venue, yeah. All right. All right, well, let's move on to our next song, hey? Okay. okay. So Pretty the well. winners of the uh, second heat... <coughs> um, uh, all the way from the Gold Coast. Oh, sweet. Cactus Locals. Dildos. Okay, what a name. Is it, you sure it's not Cactus Dildos? No, but you don't want to know, you want to know what was it's funny about last week? <laughs> <laughs> two, two weeks ago, we, we, we played a minute of their song. We went, oh, let's look them up on uh, Google. Yeah, right, eh? Yeah. Went, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what all we found was Cactus Dildos. Oh, there, was, there was a helicopter hovering above the building immediately actually, afterwards. Hey, Google! Yeah. It was actually pretty hard to find them amongst a load of dildos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair play. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, the internet's rife with dildos. But we were sure. just like so naive. We went, yeah, let's have a look. The song, uh, Spunk, hang on. Spunkton by Cactus Dildos. Ow! Dirty girl. I 
Okay. Bit of rock and roll for the kids. Was there any guitar in that? It seemed like just bass, trumpets, and ooh. I'm actually, like I was going to say, I think I list. That's probably the song I've listened to the most lyrics in in nearly ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> there was like the, the, that's all I need. I don't need much more than that. But the Innuendo. Funny, I there mean, could have been like some horrible words. There was a cracking little rock riff to, to kick off, and then great bass line. Have you got your phones? Yeah, Look the up Cactus was, Dildos. The bass line was gold, and then the horns was good fun. I, I reckon... Yeah, anything with, the, with some horns, huh? It's, it's horny. Like refreshing, hey? Dildos and horny. I'm down with that. But I've got to be honest, this is where I kind of pulled... I was like, yeah, I love that song. And then it wasn't until after I went, oh, you can't... You can barely find them on... on I haven't done a lot of band... Uh, yeah, you, you don't exactly search stuff. for dildos and find no. bands, do you? It's D-I-L-L hyphen D-O-S. So it's Cactus Dildos. Okay. You right? Um, but yeah, like I was saying, we have these ears, uh, the headphones were on so loud the other week that we just heard the riff and like, but, no, I don't yeah, wear yeah. your mouth, oh. I didn't even know what they were saying until I was editing it. It yeah. was like, oh, they're pretty much just talking about some chick sucking dick. <laughs> like, it's like, I didn't realize till after they won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was even heard even some, some crazy lyrics in there. There is the so. term cock rock though, right? It probably wasn't it's really bit, that bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of that. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's good. They got a trumpet. That's an extra point, isn't it? Yeah. And it had a bit of a vibe, a bit of a party rock vibe. Yeah, I was yeah no, it's something you'd, uh, if you walked into a bar and that was playing, you'd be straight up to the front of the stage. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But um, what about you, Craig? I wouldn't be at the front of the stage. You'd be at the front? <laughs> no, I that one. Not a big fan. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. You don't like singing um, Don't Talk With Your Mouth Full out loud in the streets? Yeah, Don't talk with she like the dick. I, he, I swear he said that. Yeah, you'd be up the front going. Oh, I'll be, I'm going in the back of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how many chicks have been to that. Yeah, <laughs> honey, let's go and see this band. I love what this. Are they called? No, I never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, right. we're either going to see uh, Guy listen. Sebastian or Cactus Dildos. I'll, I'll actually go see Cactus Dildos. Yeah, definitely It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, what about you, Az? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> so you, so you see <laughs> Guy Sebastian? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I Look, I'm forcing one. him to talk. The first <laughs> one was better than that one. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all. Thanks, mate. She was a dirty girl! All right, if that was the, if that was the song we just heard, what other suggestive songs <laughs> and lyrics do they have? Was that there? Oh, well, let's just send in the safe one, and all the rest of them are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one's actually pretty pretty mellow by their standards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Know. It's funny, really. like you know, because um, y- you know that song that my band's got, um, "Summer's Coming Home," mm. and it's got these lyrics in it which aren't like that, but they're in that direction. But um, I was that pussy and out a little bit and said, oh, "I'm not, not too comfortable singing this anymore." You know, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, and then the band were like, "Don't change it." And uh, so then we did a gig and I changed it and I got a huge applause and I was like, "Well." It's not often you get applause for being a misogynist. <laughs> yeah, you can. You know, everyone's like, yeah. I was like, the song's a bit, you know. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so it's stuck now. Yeah, there's all that stuff about those, though. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Okay, so let's play uh, number three, which was a bit of a favourite last week. Is there a technical like, way to sit on these chairs? No, they're not. They get worse as the Yeah, I don't know. Like, who, where'd you get these? They're like horse Mate, saddles without a horse. Yeah, what you need to know... I need the, stirrups to sit on this what thing. I, what bothers me is like how American cowboys like always sat on shit like this. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, cowboys in general. They always had those leg, you know, their bowed legs and yeah. But yeah. The bowed legs is probably because their nuts were squashed into them all yeah. the time. They, they, I got rid of these chairs because um, it makes us sort of act in action. Yeah, I like, feel like I'm... It's like, let's get this <laughs> podcast over. Yeah, yeah. Because before it was like, yeah. <laughs> Can yeah, anyone right. actually see so what I'm doing on the right He had comfortable chairs and everyone relaxed into the podcast. They're good for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do this. Look at the monitor. Lift just gas up. Yeah, that, you got it, Craig. Ready? <laughs> Lift the gas up on it. Is there a gas up? Ooh. At the back. Yeah. I can't find it. It's a tail. Yeah, uh, this side. There it is. Yeah, there it is. I've yeah. got mine up. Right, lift it uh, up. Sit up and then lift it up. All right, now look at the monitor. On the yeah. count of three. Count of three. One, two, three, and pull it. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go up again. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. the rest of the podcast. Us going down. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. Now, this oh, next shit. band. I've actually oh, seen them um, live and I really liked it. So let's just hear it. Yeah? <coughs> Empin' Treats with Fiesta. That's a song that the broad public would like, but I don't particularly. I I just I think they're excellent with penmanship, but I don't do the whole guitar loop thing for the whole song. It doesn't do much for me. Sorry, that's just my thing. Yeah, well, uh, I'm glad you brought that up because I didn't uh, announce them as MCs. There's two MCs, Emph and Treats, and they yep. got their their um, producer DJ bloke at the, behind them. Yep. So I was actually thought, oh, would you pick that up? Would you actually pick that they're a live band or not? Mm. I loved it. I tell you, I tell you, there's a um, an album I I play all the time. That's um, good to hear. I'm glad. I'm glad that someone was into it because for me, it's a lot. Oh, I can just see that everywhere, and it kind of grates on me a bit. But that's that's cool. Each to their own. Uh, well, the album is uh, the band called Iller Than Theirs. Iller Than Theirs. The album came out in 2007. The album and the band's that from the US. I think it's from Brooklyn or somewhere like that. But 
man, I played it all the time, and that just sounded just like a track from that album, you know. Right. I, I really, I really thought, you know, I, I, I have people around my house all the time. I put playlists on. I got thousands of CDs and I make lists of music all the time. And I thought if that came on, everybody would dig it, you know. Yeah. Well, herein lies the uh, the the sort of the new wave problem um, for me is that okay. So that you've got. Uh, by the way, isn't it funny how music producing software has been around for ages now? And it, it still, it's hard to make a great song. So these guys have got some skill. They've actually chosen these sounds. They've chosen that guitar riff yep. from somewhere. They've, they've, they've got the knowledge and the skill to actually create a party song. Something that, yeah, yeah. I could imagine yeah. playing at your place, Greasy, right? Yeah. But the problem is um, seeing them live, like the, the power of seeing five guys and chicks or something come out on a stage and rock out like a band... Um, I think that's something that the hip-hop... Like a band that produces music from home studio, let's say, um, they grow into that, you know what I mean? It's something that doesn't happen at the beginning. It's like you build it and they will come, you know what I mean? So if, if you're just a, a hip-hop duo that have both been teaching yourself like Kanye at home and then you put that shit out there, yeah. eventually you get to the point where you have a full band behind you. Yeah, but like the streets. The streets from the UK, they, he'd, yeah. he'd come out with a band. Like they'd play yeah. like a full live drum kit and stuff, which I was like, I was like oh, great. But Eminem doesn't do that still. Yeah. You know, so uh, I don't know what these guys do. James Brown comes out with two of everything uh, with the JBs. Uh. <laughs> Makes everyone that count to four. That's huge. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, yeah. boom, 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 boom. But oh, I was like only it. listening to uh, yeah. a, uh, a, one, of, one of my favourite podcasts this week and they were saying how they went to some big musical festival, music festival, and back in the day a music festival in the States or around here, well, they still is to he- here, is a band, right? Yeah. Oh, I love one. They've got those uh, porter drinks in there. It's got got a green label. Um, um, uh, like, oh man, I told but, but the, there were all these guys that came out like shit. I don't even know about, but they were just sort of basically MCs going, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, for the whole um, yeah, yeah, gig, and everyone's like, man, rap sucks or hip hop sucks. I'll tell like. you something. I'll tell you something funny in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> so this this. Uh, Swedish guy that we Ukraine, were sta- that we were staying with called Mats, absolute I legend, can't. right? I see that in the absolute like legend, that. and um, um, for some reason mean. during the festival, joke he started joking about micro penises, <laughs> 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 and it became the little theme of jokes between us, the three of us, and and, uh, and then Ice T, Ice T came on stage with Body Count, so he's at a music festival full of legendary rock bands, and then you got Ice T and Body Count. And we were listening to it and then uh, kind of thinking, oh, this is all right. And then, but Matt's wasn't into it. And then between the songs, Matt's is shouting at Ice T, you suck micro pain. We were crying, laughing. It's all quiet. You know, Ice T's going, all right, this next song, like, you suck micro pain. There's like, you know, 400 people looking over their around. shoulders going, what? <laughs> random calls. Oh, it was very funny. I love random what about, calls. What about Craig? What was your take on that one, mate? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree. Look, I don't have anything against Aussie hip hop. I think for me, I just haven't ventured into it too long. Like, you know, I really enjoy the hilltop hoods, and I think that's probably because they come to it equal measure with that penmanship and really good production. Like, and the, you know, the music changes. It's not always the same thing on loop, with a little bit of different pain on top, and, and yeah. that that really means something to me. Because again, I'm not someone always. The lyrics aren't first and foremost to me. It's like. What's happening? The music side of it. I like the rhythm. I like the bass. And I really want to make sure there's some paint on top of that. Mm. And um, and ha- and have yeah. you ever worked or been with someone who co- consider themselves a DJ? And you work with some kid, and he's like, "I wrote these lyrics last night." <laughs> and you got you're forced. You're driving along in a Ute. Yeah. And you listen to him going, "Oh fucking does it, Marco Saka?" I'm like, oh, "You're just saying shit." Like yeah. I don't. Whatever you're saying means nothing to me. But if yeah. you do some tasty solo. I'll be amazed. Like, yeah. Sort of. Well, I wouldn't even go that far. I mean, like, I've got friends that that, that rap and, and write stuff like that too, and and like, I thought the content of what they were saying was great too. And again, I don't listen to too much, but it gets to the point where it's all just like very repetitious and 
and going, and I'm, I'm really hungry for something to change, not just like the rhythm of their, their speech and what they're saying, the content's fine, but it's, I just want it to change up a little bit, just, just having that constant in the background, you know, if they could yeah. just drop that out and do something different every now and then, that'd be great. It'd just it'd be awesome, yep. you know? All right, well, I, uh, Aaron. Here we go. It's all right. <laughs> Is it, was that all right? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> well, did you notice that tone? It was a tone shake. It was kind of an all right. Pitch shift. I pitch think, shift. I think it was right into it, actually. That was a good one. No, I actually remember it from last week. That's why you just heard me at the start there say a little yeah. bit of you know. So it's very catchy. Right. Well, I, I think about this this song as like, okay, what, uh, what, what band or act will actually possibly rise forward? And in this day and age... Possibly, uh, I'm not not voting right now. I'm just saying, you find yourself going, oh, okay, heard those sort of things. Which ones are going to actually run with the ball? Uh, yeah. yeah. And in this day and age, will actually go on. Yeah. You know? So where, where are those guys from? Just fully. Uh, Gold de Costa. Okay, Gold so I'm yeah. basically fucked. I'll never drink my beer. <laughs> 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 no, they respect you. They respect you. Nah. And they go, yeah, this is. I'll probably a tough fucking beer. pop a calf in this shit <laughs> next time. <laughs> Yeah, that's all good. Drive by shootings yeah, in yeah. Corumban Brewery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> he hates the cans. Mm. <laughs> Anyone get it? Yeah, oh, yeah. More cans. <laughs> okay, watch the jerk. Yeah, I actually read the book Black Hawk Down, and um, there was a bit where they were getting shot at. They were getting shot at. Yeah. And somebody shouted, he hates the cans. <laughs> in real life. Yeah, in real life in Iraq. <laughs> So they used to watch that movie in the base and then the helicopter crashed and they're all getting fucking hammered from all directions. Have you seen One the guy jerk? Goes, he hates the guns. Have you seen the jerk? Oh, you, have you seen the jerk? No. Oh, watch it tonight. The greatest film ever. Steve Martin, he's working in a, uh, in a service station he's, and he's the jerk. Like he just doesn't get and it. The serial and he's beside the, the oil cans. Random. Oil cans and some serial like sniper. He picks his name out of a phone book and just decides I'm going to kill people out of a phone book so it's untraceable. And he turns up at the gas station, starts shooting at them and missing. And he's shooting all the cans and this guy's going, look, he hates the cans. <laughs> he hates the cans. And he runs behind behind the Coke machine. More cans! <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere he goes, there's oil cans and... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so to think in Black Hawk Down and in, in yeah, wherever so they were, that, the thing that the actual helicopter crash and, and siege that that was based on, <laughs> one of the guys in the helicopter shit, but he hates the cans because they, they were just getting riddled with bullets. Jeez! Oh, <laughs> wow! I love it. What a sense of humour! All right, in the fucking man. Now it's time for serious judging. Okay. Um. I think rather than, um, I was going to say we should write, get a pen and paper each and write down one, two, and three in that order. Ooh, nice. Rather than me going, oh, no, fucking mate, my You're opinion's better. I can actually write, mate. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that yeah. idea. Let's yeah, do it on the back right. of our one piece of paper. Yeah, so you just write down one song, one, two, and three, and then everybody just goes, uh, that's my order, one, two, or three. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, jeez, this place has got everything. Except for pencils. <laughs> What is that? Could you, you, you can't spare any more of that paper? Yeah. Or what? Oh, these bits of paper have got scribbles. Saying. They might already have three. National paper notes. shortage here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Half a stamp. Write down three songs. And I like what you've subliminally said. Something that we haven't actually worked out is that yeah, there will be a second and third now. If we do it this way, there will actually be a second. And third. Not that they win anything. Yeah. yeah no. But they you, will I don't think actually you need to, know. You don't need to break that up because I mean it. At the end of the day, our opinion is just our opinion. That's but, it. Um, who, are give, who are you going to give all this free Corumban <laughs> brewery stuff to? I know, that's all what right. I mean. Uh, uh, whoever comes third, I'm going to give him like a brewery tour and a beer. Sweet. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go, uh, my cho- where are we going to put the, uh, is it going to be like, no one knows and stick it in the middle? Yeah, yeah. I just love that idea, all right? Yeah. Here we go. So are you going to go one, two, oh, three in that order? Shit, cunts. Here we go. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just write it like in a order date. Of, in order of favourites. In the order we listen to yeah. it. Just write, write it like a date. Just go number yep. slash, number slash. All right. Number slash. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. All right, fold that one up. Craig. All right, keep that to the side there. Who's got the hat? You've got a vote, haven't you, Craig? Yeah. I don't know Just where Cindy Jensen's gone. She's gone. It's in the She'll be back. All right. Um... 
Pass that one to Craig. He's our uh, official adjudic- yeah? adjudicator. Yeah. Adjudicator. Yeah, he's going to tally oh, the scores. So. It's just the three of us voting. No, no. Everyone in the say, room. I was going to say, I don't want to be victim to a drive-by <laughs> shooting. And if you get these guys involved, they might run out of bullets. Yeah. He's got the party vibe thing here. Yeah. Dance, fucker, dance. Taste my fiesta, mother... All right. Drum roll. It's... Yeah, right. So let's go over again. Ophelia. The song Ophelia by Doozy. Uh, all the way from Brisbane. Uh, the band Cactus Dildos with their song. Great name. Um, name. Sh- uh, Shitten. <laughs> Spunkin. 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 Yeah. Sphincter. And we just heard um, <laughs> Emphan Treats and their song Fiesta. We want to. Th- oh, by the way, let's go over the uh, other ones that were entered. Want to thank Tokyo Beef um, with their great song "Rock and Roll." Mojo Native with their super catchy "Ready or Not." The Silencio, you almost won it last week. We've been there all along. Ruby, you almost won it as well with "Never Really Was." Peter Zanti, you almost won it too with "Crimes of the Heart." Greasy Belcher, well, he's right here beside me with a classic song we're going to play at the end of this. Hey, follow the fox, Benny White. I might play your song. It's a cover, so we didn't enter that song. Rush you. Um, we'll do that next episode, I reckon. Um, Dexter Pendleton's train wreck, dog, and and Tezza. Um, hell, you nearly won too with Rural Ruin. Uh, Coastal Lights, that was a great song. I like that song. That's the song of the first episode. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, I, man, I, I like that. It was a great song. So it's a it's <clears throat> that was another song that I actually heard the second time around in edit. I went, oh, they could have won. And hey, I'm going to put this out to good old King Louis. I will play your song. Um, Shake Skin Boots. The sad thing about King Louis' song is that it's only, it's not available, it's only available on a uh, on a website, like one of those. MySpace. Um, I think it's called number1.com. You look up King Louis. So I'm going to play your song exclusively a little later. Um, and thanks for entering. So you didn't actually make the finals, only because we couldn't actually work out how to play your song from the website um, in this comp. So good on you, mate. Thanks for, thanks for setting up. So, Craig. Get on the mic. Let's hear it. He's going to work it out. Oh, let's let's chat about something else. As we um, do that, do you need to mention any of the sponsors? Yeah, let's go over that again. Five hundred dollars cash. Uh, thank you to Lumber Punks Axe Throwing at Miami. If you want, to, have you ever done that? No, I, I messaged you last week. Let's go. I'm ready yeah, to go. Well, uh, Ricka, myself, and okay. Matt G went. Let's go now. After this, right? Hey, let's go. Are they open? I tell you what, it is. Um, uh, and I'm not just bullshitting you when I say it. You they they teach you how to do it. The, the place they work it out, they do it so well in teaching you what to do. But after a while, it's like it's better than throwing darts because it's so you're holding something heavy. You got the small axe and then you got the big axe, like a Bunnings axe. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, you know. Hey, hey, uh, look. Um, and and you really get into this movement of throwing your arm, and it doesn't hurt your arm. You sort of you just want to get better and better and better. You sort of locked in better than bowling. Yeah, it's just weird. It's, it's a a, such fun. a great thing. I can see why everyone's hooked on going to. And it's hunts. a lot more. I mean, you know, I mean, if, if there's a zombie apocalypse, what are you going to do? Roll a ball at them? You know what I mean? It's no, it's, yeah, it's, no. It's no use training for that. But, I don't, but you I, know, good chucking freaking axes at them. How many axes are you going to have at your disposal? You better off hacking them. With well, them dude, that's just, a crazy. Just thing. get one on a rope, Pete. That's a crazy thing. There's a lot of people that go to lumber punks now that are actually pretty good at throwing an axe. Yeah, you actually get good at the uh, chum, chum, chum. yeah, like chum, chum, chum. it's always doing one, two, two three. things. Man, straight in the chest. Could you think of anything crazier oh. than an axe in the chest? Oh. <laughs> oh, shake that one off. There's yeah. one to think about at night. Yeah. You're just lying in bed going, You don't have nah. a quick recovery from that one, do you? Nah. Just don't dress as a zombie during the apocalypse yeah. and you'll be right. Yeah. And uh, Matt G Photography, a great photo shoot from that champion. Um, and uh, who else we got? Matt Timbin Bolin, thank you for putting your hand up for some vocal coaching. You won't find a greater singer, I, I swear. From uh, Originally from Rollerball. He now sings in the tribute show, the... Um, the 90s band tribute show, Outshined. Oh, that, that's that's someone with a vocal and range. Think, yeah, like a really great singer. Just, yeah. he, they, the whole band played here a little while back, and it's just nuts how good they were. So, here we go. Drum Aaron, roll. drum roll. In third place. We haven't worked out how to run that whole machine over there yet. It's got everything. Just, just, just buy drum a drum rolls. <laughs> just try, buy a drum. I'm going to start with, I'm going to say a third place, just so we can have a countdown. Third place in our first GC vs. DK Battle of the Bands for 2018. What's happening, Aaron? Drums. 
Let's get the drum roll. Let's have a real live drum roll. So you can all eat it. He's just going to headbutt the drum. He's got no (laughs) sticks. Here we go. A couple of pencils would be great. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, more. Third place goes to... Cactus Dildos with Spunkton. Nice work. Thank you for entering. Third place. You did well. And in second place... Oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just call hey, that. Up. Pete's gonna bring him over for a beer. Yeah. No. That, oh yeah. Spunkton, Cactus <laughs> Dildos are coming over for beer. He cannot wait it. to drink with you guys. Well, I can't well. wait for you guys to freaking hang out. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna have a good time. I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna say our winner now because it's gonna be so obvious. Our winner in first place. I didn't see it coming, but I'm very happy and thankful for all the way from Brisbane, Doozy. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Good work, dude. With her song Ophelia. And, of course, Emp and Treats, well done in second place. Everyone's a winner, of course, so um, we're going to play your songs. We're going to put them all together in a record form and release them everywhere. This podcast is found worldwide, including Acast in the UK, uh, iHeartRadio, USA, um, iTunes worldwide, TuneIn and, and Spreak, a Stitcher, Overcast and all this sort of ga- gear. So, congratulations. 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 You guys really did it. Oh, we should let our chairs down at the same time. Right, ready? So ready? Hang on, got to see the thing. Everyone's got to see the video. Up, Sorry, Hang on, no. Let's do it in this, in, in harmony. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations. Kiss the monitor. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. I can't even sing that well because my balls are squished. Yeah? Oh. That's great. So, um, oh, tell you what, we did. Uh, I did bugger all organising that. And how many, how many bands? Over. How many bands <laughs> all uh, entered all together? Twelve. Twelve. That's it. Yeah. Well, they're well, all. It's not my fault, but that's yeah. Twelve. You had some good tunes. Put it out there. Yeah. 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 Well, well it's only going to get. Bigger. If anything, this serves as a message to everybody making mu- everyone making music out there. Get off your ass. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think there's a, there's a you're gonna you could have won five hundred bucks. Yeah, you could have thrown some axes. You could have had some yeah. great gifts. I could have helped you with a video. Yeah, and how cool is it here? You know, if you were to have your own band in anywhere in any sort of thing. This, by the way, this is, this digital shit stays online forever. Yeah, forever. I can't wait for everyone to look back at my take on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> forever, <laughs> Pete Weldon, Molly, who lives Molly in Meldrum. <laughs> yeah. his home address is. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Just search <laughs> Crumb Valley Brewing. Don't. don't. <laughs> um, yeah, no, seriously. You know. It's fun. And you can only beat, uh, build from that and beat it, so. I don't uh, think you're going to beat this. This will go on once a year and there'll be, by year five, there'll be 3,000 entries, but. Uh, I reckon it should be by This is the gold. By any, me too. Yeah, I reckon do this twice a year. Me too. Yeah. I reckon so too, man. Yeah, it's man. been a lot of fun. And, yeah. and not only that, we, last week we had uh, Ellen Briggs, the uh, comedian here. It's cool having a serious sort of some, somewhat of a funny conversation yeah. and then they aren't getting interviewed for a second. We can actually focus our attention on having a laugh with, yeah. you know, just calling out the band and it's <laughs> yeah. been really fun. Sweet. And then well, my goal is to actually get up there on the uh, stage at the Gold Coast Music Awards as a, as a new media, you know, mm, yeah. well, I'm just sure so I get some free a, tickets. And yeah, well, I'm sure yeah. they've got awards for that, you know. <laughs> yeah. People helping the music scene. Hell yeah. That's right, yeah. Come on. So Get now out there. Well, and our, and our other um, award winner is um, a video clip from Greasy Belcher. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to help this. Dowsy? Well, da- Doozy. 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 That's Dowsy. what he said. Doozy, yeah. Because you, uh, you called it Dowsy during the first <laughs> podcast. And I was like, man, you're getting this wrong, I think. And, <laughs> and Greasy, I don't know if you heard it. But my honest thing was for... For not doozy to, cre- to create the video for you, uh, you know, and and us, we can even talk about it right now what we think the video should have in it. And I, I saw she's coming out of a swamp like <laughs> her hair's black. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't have a swamp <laughs> handy. <laughs> and she's in like Some a of the rock pools, dude. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sweet. Dry ice. Hey, you'd have some. Pour some of that beer in. We got the swamp. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. So we got you know like create a video for them without their input. No, like, they, they have to have input, or else they're not them. in it. They're not in fuck it. You've got to respect the artist, but uh, no, no, they got to—they got to—they got to be input. I want to respect you. All right, I, I just want to serve as a 
a yeah. conduit for their for their vibe and what they want. But you're a psychic medium. Yeah, but what if they're a pain in the ass? Listen, I used to be a graphic designer, and I gave up being a graphic designer because <laughs> yeah, right. all clients are a pain in the ass. Okay. Oh shit. But no, <laughs> yeah. no. But I'm saying, <laughs> if peace like it, don't get too excited about the video. But no, if, if she's got some footage of herself, or she wants to shoot something in front of a blue screen, wants to pick up a few clips, as I said on Video Hive, start looking on there. Um, right. We can put something cool together. Really, really cool. All right. Uh, have a look at the video for Never Gonna Die because that's what we can do. Hell yeah! And that yeah. only cost me four hundred bucks. Unreal. That's all I had to spend on clips and blue screens. Well, let's all put, let's put it together. Let's actually happen. What do you reckon we can maybe... Um, uh, we'll do it in this room. All you need is these lights. Yeah, let's do screen. it. I really mean it. If she can come down for good and get love. those lights on the blue screen behind her. Yeah, we maybe even it. get her in here for, the, for a podcast on that, on that day. So, yeah. Congratulations, Doozy. You did it. How about that? I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Ah, yeah. Uh, and I wish uh, she actually, you know, out of all the entrants, she sent sent us all an email to tell us when her gig is. Um, uh, Christ, can I can't even think where it is. <laughs> you don't have the email on your phone. Uh, oh, Aaron, <laughs> me? <laughs> oh, you shit <laughs> cunt! <laughs> Sorry. Can you maybe ring her now? Ring her now. Let's get her live on air. Oh my god! Never even thought of that. Here we go. She be eating dinner. Going. I'm eating dinner. What time is it? <laughs> is it even an acceptable hour to call someone? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's eight o'clock. o'clock. This is rock and roll, Pete Weldon. Yeah, ring when you want. Oh, you, hey, hey, here's something to mention. Her real name's Chloe Violet. What a rock and roll name that is. Yeah, that that's is just as rock and roll. Name. I don't know if we're supposed to tell everyone, but um, <laughs> yeah, right, Craig. Here we go. Chloe Violet. Yeah, here's her. Uh, thanks for what you're doing, son. Blah blah blah. blah. Playing in Brisbane soon. I'm supporting some local artists. Yeah, here we go. Check my hat. Tell me to do a book gig in the Gold Coast. Oh, she actually... Oh, okay. Her gig is at the on the 5th of July at the Milk Factory. Go to Facebook and find her. D-O-Y-U-Z-E-Y uh, for her gig at the Milk Factory. We all know where the Milk Factory is, right, kids? Um, Next to the Cheese Factory. I was going to say, yeah. The Milk Factory. Yeah. Is that on Brisbane Road? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. know. (laughs) The Norco Milk Factory. Norco. Oh, here we go. It's Fee or Fi. Salmon. What is with these kids? Faux fun. Salmon and the Peaches and Doozy. July the 5th. Right there at uh, the Milk Factory. 48 Montague Road, South Brisbane. Unreal. Mm. So good work. All right. Now. Well, uh, what do you say, champs? Magic. Let's rock. It's been an hour and 15. Hey. Um, Time for Greasy's tune. You can edit that down to about 15. And we'll, it's mm. we'll a good podcast. Let's play, let's play Never Gonna Die Now. Mm. All right. Let's listen. And then mm. we can, um, we can uh, Mock judge Greasy. you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mock me. If you want. Like uh, you got to show the video to the guys. Put it up there. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's oh, what I no, mean. We can't do it yet. Bloody our internet is so bad that we can't hook that to net, the net. Yeah. While the song's playing, you could probably edit the video in against it, couldn't you? Perhaps for the um, um, actual broadcast. Drew, Drew called it up on uh, YouTube on his laptop. He can watch it on the laptop. <laughs> but if I'm t- if I move this, you know what's going to happen. All right, we'll move ourselves. <laughs> I can play it uh, in the layer edit on this, but here we go. Mm. Never going to die, Greasy Belcher. The good I am. Sometime. Never gonna die greasy belt. Never gonna play. Never gonna ever come through the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> never gonna play, never gonna play, never gonna play. <laughs> ah, yeah. Tonight! Airballs. Where'd you get that T-shirt? That's pretty cool. It's shit, actually. Um, I like it. It's just about done. It's nearly redundant. We're rebranding, bro. There'll be a new one soon. Oh, mate, I'm going to get one where we're on stage with the band. Do you, do you want the one with the greasy bit on it? Oh, 
across the river's a shame Well, I'm a cut snake, baby, full of whiskey and pain You know I drank more money than your national debts I had more bad dreams than an army event And the poison in the veins from the years of sin I got the black lung, baby, where the dust blows in I can take it, I can leave it, kick a hole in the sky You know I'm heavy metal thunder and I'm never gonna die Never gonna die, 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 never gonna die. Never gonna Like a lizard, keep my heart in the box I got balls like bowlers and I'm hung like an ox You know my mother named it Greasy, I'm a son of a bitch I got an STD <laughs> called a seven-year itch I've been a limousine riding with the demons of speed I've been down to the dollar for the things that I need You know I'm coming down the mountain where I'm always high You know I'm heavy metal thunder and I'm never gonna die Never gonna die, 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 never gonna die. Like a savage from the south of Mars I get back from north of here like it you see in stars I'm gonna roll through your valley like the shadow of death I'm gonna take it like the reaper with my dying breath I like fat bottom girls, they make the world go round They go boom, boom, boom with the big bass sound They give me titties and beer with your cherry pie Because I'm heavy metal thunder and I'm never gonna die Never gonna die, 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 never gonna die. Greasy Belcher from his record, fucking A-side. How the fuck didn't that win? <laughs> I didn't enter it, man. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I'm friends with Drew. I don't want any nepotism. I nepotism. just thought I'd uh, put it in there. But no, that's, no. I've just... In all fairness, good yeah, stuff. Cheers, yeah. man. I just put the video together in. It took me about three weeks to put that together. And um, it finished, uploaded it about three months ago. So uh, It's I'd had know. more than 10,000 views. Yeah, no, it's been pretty and I've good. had shit on YouTube for years. They've got 64 views. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that's massive, you know. No, it's pretty good. I was it happy is massive with it. In, in only a few weeks. So, yeah. So uh, never gonna die, never gonna die, never gonna die, never gonna die, never gonna. You know. I, I wrote those lyrics when I was in work one day. I was sitting at the desk, just totally pissed off, and just I'm not doing any work. I'm just, I just took out a little notepad and just wrote down these lyrics, and then just ran to the studio and went, "What do you reckon?" Boom! They start playing with the bass, and and then that came out. So it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, rock and roll. Good fun. Yeah, but so, I'm looking forward to um, speaking to Dowsy, mm. and uh, I'm looking forward to helping with the video. And you know, as I said, congratulations to again to again to all the bands that entered, and uh, you know, M from Treats and uh, Dildos. What were they called? Cactus Dildos. Cactus Dildos is the best name. Well, of I can't wait for those cactus cunts to come to my girl. <laughs> 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 they got the biggest prize of all: a tour of a private brewery. Mm. <laughs> They're going to get fucked up with me <laughs> on, on 10% beer <laughs> no, We're going to jam songs about fucking rotten dildos and shit <laughs> Oh man <laughs> I want to shoot that and turn it into a video Yeah, yeah. Alright Yeah let's actually let's do that Let's shoot a fucking part of, of some of their next clip in my brewery 
What about yeah. infant traits? <laughs> <laughs> like we came second, man. We don't get no beer. We get nothing. <laughs> nothing for coming second, bro. Yeah. You're the first loser. You've heard that song. <laughs> <laughs> nothing for coming second. No, I'm just offering a wooden spoon prize here, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, what else has happened? Are we pulling it up? Um, nice and sweet. It's been pretty good. He's got that in his head now. You're going to be going home. Indian version. 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 Did you ever, um, maybe not you, so Greasy, because I know you've actually put out heaps of songs, but it's funny to me, who've been playing guitar and whatever my whole life, I get, when I sit in front of one of these, um, you know, be it garage band, it's the most frustrating shit ever to oh, actually yeah. produce and put Fuck together yeah. a song like Infantreats can or whatever, you know, anyone mm. to it takes hours and you get sweaty and like, oh, I just actually I love hate it. it. I love I, I love nothing more than having nothing and then just sitting there with a I mean, most of the stuff I've recorded and I've recorded a lot of stuff, but I, I most of it I've had absolutely nothing when I walked into a studio and I just sit down with the producer who's can play an instrument as well. And I'll just pick up a bass, let's say, or a guitar, and I'll strum or pluck the bass, and then I'll just tap the drums, and we'll we'll come up with a hook, and then we'll just grow from there. And then while the producer's going, okay, we've got that, we need something else, we work that out. And then what, once that's done, then I sit there with a pen and paper and just write lyrics. Of what does this make me think of? But that's how the only way I can do it. The shitty thing about being like that is that I can't remember fuck all. <laughs> so <laughs> I I listen to that song the next week, and I go, man, I like that. I can't remember how to play this. You know, that's that's. Right. Terrible, yeah. But it's good. It's good because when I'm with bands, as you know, with my band Stone Rising, we, you've jammed with us. We we jam in the shed, and I just come lyrics off the top of the head the whole time, mm. and then it's good stuff comes like that too. Yeah. All right, champions. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, Thank Pete. You. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, Drew. Let's it's get that it's beer. An absolute pleasure. Let's get, I can't wait. I was at your uh, place on Sunday night drinking. Um, what was I drinking? Uh, Red IPA and double IPA and at yeah. Pete's place in, in his uh, lounge room. He's got just kegs. <laughs> and it's always Sour something. Uh, we were drinking like stout a... Stout as well. You had a nice stout. Cheeky spot. Just brilliant. Stout, yeah. Just a brilliant sort of deal. Like an absolute chemist, just like the name of his band. Mm. You know, so um, thank you, mate. Thanks to Greasy Belch for coming in. Cheers, man. Thanks for having me on. Thank you, Aaron Brunner. Aaron Brunner Media. Rock and roll. When's Aaron. your next uh, gig on the road there? You going to the Monster Truck soon? Mm, no shows yet. No shows at the moment? Oh, no. We just finished one in, um, in uh, Gimpy, did you not? Yeah, that's right. Yeah? Uh, a couple of weeks ago now. Yeah, nothing. Yeah? Playing for a while. What about you, Craig? You been driving any Lamborghinis lately? This morning? This morning? No you shit. bastard. This guy. How tell do us, honestly, tell us what a Lamborghini, because no, I'm going to tell you right now, as you would know, I know you drive lots of Lambos, but what do they like to drive? Um, overrated. Good if you can get out in the middle of nowhere and go nuts with them. But this morning I had to deliver one to Brisbane in peak hour traffic and absolute nightmare. Oh, yeah. Absolute nightmare. Is it clutch? They've got the, the one that I was driving is Gallardo, which is a, a manual gearbox, but it's all done. It's got a clutch, but there's no clutch pedal. So it works electronically. So when you take your foot off the brake and start accelerating, it automatically starts clutching out. So in traffic, that is just an absolute nightmare because it just hops around and all this sort of stuff. And they don't like sitting below 2,000 revs. So you've got you to gotta really work on it. So That's yeah. why I sold my last bike. I had a KTM um, Super Motard and you'd be, you'd be just wheeling across the bloody lights from a stop and, then, and the thing did not like travelling at a constant pace. Mm. So it was like you're either accelerating or hitting the brakes. Acceler- and, and if you were just trying to do a constant, the whole bike just starts shaking. Like, what are you doing? You're trying to go a constant speed. So Similar thing, similar yeah. thing. So, yeah, driving, trying to drive, it's got no cruise control. It doesn't have all the mod con features of a luxury car. But uh, yeah, it's still great fun, don't get me wrong. It's yeah. great fun to drive. When they want to whip, they whip, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all-wheel drive, so they, you know, they really go. But um, yeah, traffic-wise, not fun. Yeah, I, I'd imagine that, big time. You need to be on the, um, just a, an open road with nobody on it. You know, no cameras, no limits. There's a great show on uh, on uh, Foxtel, I think, where it's something about street racing. And you, you race on a quarter mile. It's, it's American, of course, where they'll have a supercar versus four other cars. And it might be a diesel truck, like the fastest one. It's like uh, racing for cash. Mm. And... 
uh, it's a pretty great show. And they go into the backstory. This dude, he might be in a wheelchair and he's built the, the craziest rat rod. And like with the, the nuttest, the, the most stupid engine in it, racing against a lady who's got like the Nissan GTX uh, all wheel drive. And they, they're racing for money. And every episode goes to the, um, what the hell is that called? Damn it. I never know. Anyway. But hey. yeah, man. Do any of the home-built fucking weapons ever come up trunks? Because that's what I want to know. Well, yeah, because it turns out a lot of the other ones can't be driven too well. Like the... Oh, yeah. Did I miss something here? Like, what do you actually do, Craig? How come you get to deliver these fucking Lambos all the time? Oh, he's a thief. Steals them. (laughs) Gone in 60 seconds. Yeah, yeah, Craig's, yeah, yeah. Craig's got the crazy, the greatest. It wouldn't always be Lambos; it'd be fucking everything. Wait a minute. Craig's got the greatest detailing company in the country. In this, in this, in the in the city, he uh, there's a new thing called uh, ceramic coating that um, revive car detailing. Do hmm. it, you basically your car is never dirty again? It's wild. It costs a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. My it's GT weird. might like that. It's weird. It's like <laughs> uh, anyway. There's a whole story in that, isn't it, Craig? But yeah, good work. I want to thank everyone for being here. I want a special mention to Cindy Jensen, who was here and left for some reason. I gave her a beer. I think it fucked her up. Yeah. 10%, Sorry. baby. But yeah. she had some big news with her Buskers by the Creek event. I'm going to say it now. She's uh, now supported by Sailor Jerry, Stone and Wood Beer uh, Brewing Company, and Moet. So at Buskers by the Creek this October, there'll be a big... Moe. Mo- Moet. Yeah, they actually say it. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just... Yeah, I, always, I, th- I like saying Moe, but yeah. it's Moet, apparently. I'm going to buy him at Rowie, so I'm just like, Rowie, Rowie, Mowie, Rowie. <laughs> Moet. All right, champions. Over and out. Damn, thanks for having us. Rock and roll. This podcast is brought to you by Koala Calm with a chill out drink. Sit back, rocks. And ah. smoke them all. <laughs>